so at this point i can say that deep seek v3 is getting nowhere okay again as you guys can see when ai models are not very good in design and aesthetics and this is what you get from o3 mini i and okay this is what it has come up with we can clearly identify the eyes but other than that i think uh, it's kind of messed up let's see what gemini has come up with so this is a dragon according to gpt 4 okay it does look little bit like a dragon with a fireball coming out of its mouth and a tail but i would say that it's very basic okay it does look somewhat like a dragon but not that but it is nothing compared to what Cloud 3.5 Sonnet came. And okay, so on the first glance, it might look that DeepSeek version is good, but I think, uh, you know, everything is a bit jumbled in DeepSeek's version. Whereas DeepSeek Pro actually, you know, looks a bit better. Although both are kind of not that good, but I would say DeepSeek Pro is better in this one. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, one has come up with, okay. So, behold a true dragon truly majestic dragon the taglines are awesome but not the generation so i do think that you know these triangles are the horns and these are the eyes and these are horns on its head these are two wings but we don't see any kind of tail and we do see a weird circle over here meanwhile okay. I so i think it's comparatively better we do have legs toes the wings are the same the fire is the same and i think it does have the eye but it's obstructed with this fire you know we also have horns i will have to say that it's a very basic implementation actually not very good okay that looks very much as dragon at least i'm able to distinguish between the head and tail and body let's paste it and okay this is what we have got i think this is the head guys it's not very clear though these are most probably the wings this is the body the legs the tail but uh, everything seems disconnected okay so we can clearly distinguish this as a dragon. This is the eye. I think this is the beak guys. We have the neck, body, legs. It looks more like a bird though. Let's see. Okay. So it is quite better compared to GPT-40 and it also has eyes following my cursor. That is a good addition. Even though it's not exactly a dragon. Taste it. Okay. So comparatively I would say that it is better than the previous version but nowhere near to what Gemini 2.5 Pro has given us. I think that this model is not very good for aesthetics. Wow, that looks awesome. That is a very cute dragon, guys. I think this is supposed to be the wings, but that's not connected very nicely. But we are able to clearly distinguish it's a dragon. Not the best, I would say, but that's a very good implementation. So we can identify that it's a dragon, but uh, it's insane. That looks absolutely like a dragon. Even the dragon is breathing. That's what I want. Abs okay. Now it is recognizable as a dragon, I guess. We can identify the wings, the body, the legs, the tail, horns. It is barely looking like a dragon. Better guys, we have the head. I think this is the neck, the body, legs, tail. And I think this is most probably the wings. We can clearly identify the eyes, the mouth. So comparatively, I would say that Gemini's response is better. Although both are not that good. So that's a win for Gemini. And okay, that looks awesome guys. Just have a look at it. It's comparatively way better than what GPT-40 or any other model from OpenAI gives. We can clearly see the wings. And you can see the eyes are also blinking guys. Absolutely awesome guys. It is a bit weird in shape. But it's comparatively way better than what other... Okay, now it looks like a dragon. Even better than the previous ones. Yeah, the tail is kind of disoriented. The fire is also not fixed but it looks better than the previous one I mean, okay that looks way awesome guys just have a look we also have clouds coming guys this is the best implementation i've ever seen this is absolutely awesome okay that is a cute dragon the horns are lying on the ground instead of being on the body but we are clearly able to identify the body the legs the head the wings it's not the best implementation but it's kind of good. Let and there you go. That's a cute dragon, guys. We can see the belly, neck, wings, toes, tail, and everything. So we have a button called Dragon Roar. Let's see what happens. So see if we click Dragon Roar, so you can see we do see the breathing fire, but it's not coming out of its mouth. Anyways, it's kind of a good representation, and also you know, and it's kind of moving its head based on the movement of my cursor. So that is kind of good. But let's see what Cloud 3.7. This is what both have generated. We can see that Gemini was accurate to what we asked for. It did the job. And if you look at Cloud Sonnet's response, of course, it's the king of aesthetics and it gave a very good looking response.